Matt Kenseth has chosen the inside to restart here. Getting a big push from Jeff Gordon. Jimmy Johnson trying to go to the outside beside his teammate Gordon, and there comes a two car, Kurt Busch. Yeah, good pit work by Kurt Busch's crew to get him out there in that fourth spot. And Jimmy Johnson, he gained quite a few spots there. Having that number one pit stall didn't hurt anything. Kurt Busch did a nice job getting the car off pit road, by the way. He could have gotten pinned in, and he was diving between two of the cars, which saved him some valuable time. Here comes Clint Boyer to his outside. Clint's starting to show some muscle here. His car has been awfully fast these last couple of runs. And Casey Kane says, do I try it? Do I go between these two? No, I don't know for Not this lap. <laughs> You know, as cool as it is, and you can hear those RPMs, that's hard on engines. I mean, it's just definitely got these cars where they're, oh, look at this. Getting ready to be three wide oh, right here now down the front straightaway. And, risky. and here goes Ryan Newman to the outside of the 33 car Boyer. Oh, that was a good move. You see, the 33 got a little bit loose coming out of four. The two went to the inside, the nine to the outside. Looks like they got this 18 car healed up a little bit after he spun out there when he was so loose. That's fourth through tenth on your screen there. Left side of your screen, the two car in fourth position, all the way back to the 18 car. Now coming back to the pack, that is Kyle Busch in ninth spot. Yeah, Casey came for that fourth spot. Let's update the Kyle Busch situation. Dave. Yeah, he is a lot better, Doc. And uh, he brought up the fourth caution. Remember when he spun and he took out the commitment cone, which then was a penalty for uh, doing that. And he restarted 31st at that point and passed his way up close to, to 20th position. So the car can pass uh, on the last restart, or on the last pit stop, rather. They just made a slight air pressure adjustment to try to help him do that even better. Thank you, Dave. They certainly uh, have helped him immensely. As you see the 48 car now trying to reel in Matt Kenseth. And Denny Hamlin dejectedly standing in the garage area hoping uh, that they can do something with this engine to be able to get him back on the racetrack. Yeah, they're not going to happen. I'll tell you, when these things start destroying themselves, there's nothing you can do. They're going to try something. He'll try anything here and just see if it'll work. But uh, just a bad, bad night for the 11. The only Joe Gibbs car in the chase uh, this year is the 18, is the 11 car, and the, well, the last two weeks have just been misery. Yeah, they've had fast race cars every week. Den Denny's done a really good job, but unfortunately, you have these problems along the way, and that's what this championship comes down to: are the teams that make the fewest mistakes through this 10 race chase, or have the fewest problems, not necessarily mistakes, but in the 11's case, it's been one of both over the last two weeks. See Tony Stewart there moving back and forth behind the 33 of Boyer. That is fourth position. That's for the seventh spot. And behind him, uh, the 18 car is coming. That's Kyle Busch. The 99 car, Carl Edwards, back in 35th position in the pits. If he had a loose wheel or what he didn't like there. Clear out all the way. Carl made the announcement a couple of days ago on our air during the qualifying show that he and wife Kate are expecting a baby girl. Well, that's the good news for Carl. The bad news is that they are having a horrible night here in that 99 car to be competitive at Lowe's Motor Speedway. Past the 200 lap mark. 133 to go here in race number five of the chase. So we're halfway home when this one's over. And the 29 car, Kevin Harvick. Moving in on Brad Keselowski. These guys are battling for position. That is uh, 14, 15, and 16. And battling they are. I've been watching this the last few laps. And these guys will get two and three wide in the corners. They work it all out, but there's been a lot of passing going on. Here's Casey Kane. He's caught Jeff Gordon. Casey is right up next to the wall. Now, see that run that he gets right there. Looks like he's got this thing hooked up now. We might have a new player for the lead here in four too long. Shannon? Casey Kane really making those two tires work, guys. But what's most impressive is that this nine car can go anywhere on the track. He was running the high side. He was running the low side. It is that hooked up. Rear grip is all he's been looking for the entire race. Now, I spoke with Kenny Francis this morning. He said, we really want to be better than 11th in the points. That is our goal. And this is a great track for them to do that tonight. 
They got themselves in a bit of a hole there, Shannon, but they're trying to climb out of it with this kind of run here tonight. And certainly this would be a big shot in the arm for this entire nine team at Richard Petty Motorsports. We mentioned the five car. Mark Martin had a huge hole in the grill. They made a put a patch on this hole, Andy. And now he is uh, moving back through the field. Yeah, it definitely lit this car back up. You saw him putting this patch on there. They uh, put a metal patch on the nose and then put some uh, bear bond on the outside of that. So the uh, car should be back to where it was. Tony Stewart there going underneath the 33 or trying to. These guys have been going back and forth, lap after lap here. He and Cliff Boyer for seventh and eighth position. Now Stewart will take the spot away, and maybe Kyle Bush will follow him through. Less than 130 laps to go here at Lowe's Motor Speedway. Matt Kenseth is our leader. Jimmy Johnson, Casey Kane, Jeff Gordon, and Kurt Busch. Back after this message and a word from our ABC station. Take a look at the first 300 miles of tonight's race with our Old Spice race rundown. Denny Hamlin and Jimmy Johnson strong early. Hamlin out in front at the beginning, but then recently troubled. Oh, yeah, had an engine failure out here. Broken valve, spark plug, something. They don't know the cause yet, but he definitely is out of the race at the moment. Really kill him in the points right now. Another championship chaser strong early that then ran into troubles. Juan Pablo Montoya on a restart had a little bit of a problem. Yeah, on this restart, he gets into the back of Clint Boyer, and Mark Martin gets into the back of him. Wrinkles up that right rear fender, as we saw our Tim Brewer talk about earlier. Took a lot of downforce off the car. They're having a tough, tough time now just keeping up to the field in what was a really good race car. Montoya is struggling mightily. Got laps, then spun out. They made repairs, then the repairs came off. And Montoya is running 34th right now. A lap down, although on a different pit stop schedule than everyone, he's needing a caution soon. Uh, Jeff Gordon, one of several chase drivers that are out front tonight. Uh, Gordon has spent time in the lead. Johnson spent time in the lead. Uh, Hamlin spent time in the lead. Mark Martin spent time out in front. Right now it is Matt Kenseth, though, a non-chase driver who was pacing this race. 16 lead changes, seven leaders, six cautions for 27 laps, and it is Kenseth right now leading the 26 cars on the lead lap at this point. Talking about Denny Hamlin with his engine troubles. Vince is back in the garage. Yeah, another frustrating finish for Denny. Denny, ultimately, what was the diagnosis there with the motor? Yeah, it looked like a uh, drop the valve or something, but uh, just a tough night uh, for everyone at FedEx. You know, we've uh, just had a rough couple weeks. You know, driver made a mistake last week and caused this, and then just this week, just you know, parts failure and. Yeah, it's the best I've ever ran at this racetrack. Uh, had a shot to win it. Uh, felt like, you know, it's just, I was being so patient right there behind those guys and not trying to push it and not show everything I had until the very end. But, uh, you know, Mike and the guys did a great job providing me a race winning car. We just uh, didn't have it all to uh, put together today. But uh, couldn't be a prouder. I mean, we're, we're in contention to win every single one of these races and just, uh, can't get it all together, but uh, once we figure it out, we'll be all right. As good as you guys have been, how frustrating is it to have the last two weeks to dash your championship hopes? Well, that's what sucks about this point system is, you know, you can run your tail off for 24 weeks and it just doesn't matter. You know, you know you're going to base it, all your performance off of 10 weeks and uh, one bad week, and especially the way those other guys are performing. You know, you can just step it up in the last 10 like they have done. Um, if you have one bad week, you know, whether because of a, a driver mistake or a parts failure, you're, you're done. Your season's over with. And, uh, you know, it's just that, that, that part of it's frustrating. Doc? That pretty well sums it up. And Denny Hamlin talking about there's so much pressure on these guys. you got 10 races in a championship format among 12 drivers to try to get it done. Yeah, you see Jimmy Johnson gave up that second spot to... Casey Kane, he's got a piece of debris or some something on the front of the car. It's uh, something that's blown up off the racetrack, and he was going to try to maybe let Casey Kane go by and uh, and get it off, but it didn't quite work out, Dave. Yeah, that's what I'm just going to say. 285, 245. Those are the oil and or what oil and water temperatures for Jimmy Johnson. That's pretty high. He wanted to let Casey Kane go by, get real close to him, so that the reduction in air pressure would pop that paper or whatever it is off. But he didn't wait for him. <laughs> they kind of commented, well, that didn't work out too good. I guess there's no way he was going to wait for us. <laughs> and why would you wait for Jimmy Johnson right now, huh? If you're his competitor? Heck no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd say good luck. I'm out of here. That 245 is not too hot. I mean, that's still uh, manageable. If it stays in that range and stays stable there, it's uh, not a big deal. 285 on the oil is not too hot either. So 
he should be okay and he's just gonna he's got to find somebody else to get up behind that Casey Kane was just too fast he was already catching Jimmy Johnson so when Jimmy did back off and let him go uh, he just got too far out in front that's the margin right there between Kane and Johnson you see uh, Montoya right side of your screen on the 42 car and Ken's a little bit loose Montoya goes another lap down he had uh, taken the wave around and gotten back within one lap but now he is two laps down. So it is Ken's at the leader, Kane in second, Johnson, Gordon, and Kurt Busch, the top five.